Hello everyone, it's Rocco coming at you um, for a my first 11.4.7.2 drive. I'm coming here first because this came up on the screen. Uh, this was just this update says minor bug fixes and improvements, uh, but this is new. This is uh, for the data share. I'm just gonna you know let you pause to read read this here, but um, let's think. Allow auto private analytics and improvements. It's really interesting that they've added this. I guess they probably got a lawsuit or two about data privacy or something got through. And yeah, so now this is all getting added in. It's very interesting. Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at you. Uh, as you just saw, we got some... Uh, it didn't make a sound when I enabled it. Interesting. Um, we got a uh, new version of full self-driving. You saw the new uh, uh, data sharing features. Windshield is very dirty. Let's go ahead and clean that. Thank you. A little bit easier for you guys to see. There is a car behind me, so let's go ahead and up our speed. It's been calculating this route for the last like five to ten minutes, so I just decided to go. I don't know if it's gonna mess up or not, but um, decided to go ahead and uh, try it out. But um, yeah, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I haven't made a video in a while. If you saw my last video, it had nothing to do with full self driving. It had to do with an uh, excavator I rented and um, got a ton of work done. Been, been very busy working on the property recently, so I don't have time to make these seven videos. But wanted to make one of that just, just for my own personal record, if anything. And just thought I'd share with everyone else. Just, you know, just so if anyone was interested about the type of work you can get done with an excavator, look at my previous video. Basically, we're looking for if there's any changes at all, um, just to see what we might can expect. And see how it performs with this car. It's already slowing down a little bit. You can tell there's a lot of little changes. See, that's the thing. That's the fun thing about these updates. Uh, I said minor improvements and bug fixes or something, whatever, you know, that's that's all it said. But you can tell the, the um, font for the, the speed limit has changed. It's like more square. It's actually, it's clearer. I like it. It's better. The the sound to put it in the drive is different. Um, I think the navigation when you go to make the route, the little window up here is different. Not, not this one, but the one when you go to set the route. That's a little bit different. All these little changes, like everything is slightly different. Like the font's a little bit larger here I noticed that it didn't make a sound where when I enabled full self-driving why I'm not entirely sure uh, yeah those those little things are in, interesting to kind of look at and, and try and find a little you know Easter eggs if you will try and figure out what's going on we're just going through here this is all feels very normal like I couldn't tell the cars driving couldn't tell someone else wasn't driving basically so this has been all very good we're gonna see how it does right here so this the thing to know I don't think I ever did this route with 11 that 4 that 7 however I have new map data 2023 map data so that might fix this I haven't done that since getting the new map data for sure I don't see any stop sign listed here oh, but it's still stopping ah oh, I still did it like why is it doing that it didn't show the stop sign, but it's, it didn't kind of mess up there still. Um, let's go ahead and let it recalculate through here so it doesn't stop in the middle of the road. It is a, actually what, yeah, it's, school's in session now, again. So, limited max speed for road type. I wonder if it's because it read the school zone, so it like extra lowered the speed. Oh, that van was pulling off to the, into the school right there. They kind of, kind of cut the road short. Well, this all feels really normal. Uh, the van didn't mess it up at all. Very, like, this is exactly the speed you should be going in this area. And nothing to write home about. We're gonna look on these two turns here. 
Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator to keep him from coming from a complete stop. That uh, was somewhat unusual for this type of road. This road is fairly wide. This isn't narrow, what I consider to be a narrow road, at least in this area. Um, I know Mike was still having those issues and I still, on the very few narrow, narrow roads I had, still had that issue. That looks like it was like full stop driving, peeking its nose out into the road. You can't, kind of can't really see there. I wonder if that was a private drive or something else. Because that, that would be a really good blind turn test for full self driving. Can it make it out of here? That was good, for, I think that was good. You can tell it was like kind of checking around the corner before it committed to the turn. I thought that was good. I think it's going a little bit fast in here. Could go a few mile an hour slower. Like it says limited speed for max road type, or for road type, but um, yeah, it could, it could have been a little bit slower here. And let's see if it turns. Like, it's a complete full stop. <laughs> you know, um, I I wish NTHS, NTHS, whatever you pronounce it, National Highway Safety Transportation Agency, they would just not do that. Okay, so we are going to, let's go ahead and get a trip marked first, the highway. We're going across the highway. And, um... Oh, the problem is it's gonna I don't know which one's which ah. okay let's try that again because this this is why what I wanted to not have happen it's got it just goes forward automatically when you don't have a waypoint and this takes so long to navigate like that is probably gonna not let's see if I can let's see if it calculate okay we're just gonna let it go this route I, I'm done messing with this to try and get it to go take a left turn. Like, it should take a right, uh, it should take a left right here. But we're just gonna let it go right now. Um, this route's gonna change. That's what we're gonna start doing a little bit more of, everyone. Uh, I try and keep my routes consistent. So, uh, sometime I will force it to do that again. Maybe like in version 12. But, um, yeah, so we'll see. We're going across railroad tracks. The it's are very defunct. This is turning into a rails to trails very soon. I'm so excited for that. And the, this is going to be a, a trail that goes across the whole county. This is actually a fairly complicated spot to turn out of right here. So maybe this is a good thing that we're doing this. A lot of traffic. And we are ready to go. It needs to go. Excellent. And yeah, we're not gonna zip punch in on the screen because this messed up again. Let's see how quickly it drops to 20. Okay, that's that's very appropriate right here. So we're gonna, this is basically, I don't expect to get a disengagement. Now we probably would have got up to this bridge right as that those cars were passing by. And um, I wonder if it would have watched them or not. We have a police car that lights on. I don't know why. Maybe just to tell people to slow down. It is 20 mile an hour in here. Let's see, we have a person pulling out in this truck. Okay, that's good. Let's see if it, if it does anything change with this blinking yellow here. Is it gonna hesitate? Yep. Yeah, see, look, it still hesitated right there. So yeah, I'm not expecting anything like this to be changed, like really at all. Really, the map data would would change what we're seeing. But uh, otherwise, yeah, there's there's a little, a few little changes that are cool. Uh, otherwise, the car, you know, it's just, it's basically exactly the same. Uh, we're gonna zero disengagements on this route. Well, we have one more turn. But basically, if we make this turn, we're we're gonna get it. We're gonna make it, uh, unless some crazy thing happens. But we're we're still gonna we're still gonna go to the very end. Um, the only reason I'm not going up in speed is because of the school zone. But now that we're exiting the school zone, we'll up at the 25, and then it's gonna go to 35 right here. Of course, it's not gonna go all the way up to that because it has to make a turn right here.
Very smooth turn and unprotected left. Now it's gonna go up to 45 mile an hour. And it sees this car slowing down so it's not fully committed to the speed increase yet. And now we're going up to speed. Something I've noticed in the, even the last few versions is that it does seem to be, every single version seems ever so slightly more confident around curves uh, at speed. Like these type of curvy roads, just ever so slightly more confident. And that, that leads to more confidence in me, like from my perspective, that I don't have to, you know, I don't have to like control the car as much. The car's, I just let the car do its thing because it feels more comfortable to me that it's not incorrectly slowing down and stuff. That was good. Um, previous versions definitely would have slowed down for that Jeep right there. But that, that was good. It did not hesitate at all. Now this turn we're waiting, or waiting, <laughs> we're uh, just hesitating because of that car. Uh, it sees this truck right here and it says, uh, things. What, what I'm saying is we're looking for it not to slow down around this turn and it did not slow down at all besides a slight bit of hesitancy for the car coming around the curve. And so this is great, great behavior. Got this car cutting out in front of us. Yeah, that's great. Now, I don't know if anything has really been changed. Um, I'm sure we're gonna, you know, between Chuck's videos, uh, Mike's videos, Chris's videos, everyone else's videos, um, we're gonna, quickly find out if uh, anything is you know, significantly changed or if it's just looking at a draw and yeah <laughs> that was a weird interaction my car kept on slowing down even though the other car was passed I would hope hope version 12 fixes that I am assuming they're just making updates you know for the privacy policy and for just to make sure Somehow I messed that squirrel. Okay, for, for um, you know, just minor improvements, just to keep the software moving forward to, to align. Probably getting more data for version 12 is probably what the that privacy policy was for. Yeah, if you guys have questions, put the comments down below. I am glad to answer questions like I'm able to, and I look forward to seeing you uh, later on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate you. Bye.